Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build this village inn inside of Minecraft. Now some of the more regular viewers of my channel will probably recognise this build from my survival series. It's one of the features of my custom village that we put together over the course of that world and ever since I made this specific build I have had a lot of people asking me to make a tutorial on it so after a pretty long wait <laughs> here it finally is. I'm sorry it's took me so long. If you're building this in survival, you're going to want to check out the materials list down in the description below. I've just listed out all of the items that we're going to be using in this build. Before we start building, you're going to want to find a location to build this in, and to do that you kind of need to know the size and layout of the build. This is what it looks like from the base level, so as long as you've got an area big enough to fit this in, you should be all good. And in case you're wondering as to what that gold block is doing there, that simply marks the front door, so that side is going to be the front of the build. So first things first, we're going to grab our strip spruce logs and we're going to place down the pillars, starting on this spot right here, just beside where the front door is going to be going. And we're going to place one there, leave a gap of one, then leave a gap of three, and then another three over here. Then we're going to have another gap of one, a gap of three, and another gap of one. So this is what the right hand side should look like. And then round the back of the build, we're going to have a gap of three, and then a gap of five this time, and another log here. All of these can then be brought up by one, two, three, and four more logs for a total of five. Now you can go ahead and grab all of your stone variants and just for the sake of the tutorial here I'm going to be building all of the stone parts of this build out of stone bricks and adding in the texture using andesite stone and crack stone bricks afterwards so if you want to do that or do it as you go it is entirely up to you. But the first thing we're going to do is come to the left hand side of the build here and place some stone blocks just as I've done there in that shape and we're going to come to these three at the far end and bring them up by one, two, three, three, four, to the same height as the spruce logs that we just finished placing down. So that should be five high. The other blocks can all be three high, so we just need to bring them up by two more blocks, just like this. And then if we just swing around to the front of the build and come to this section right here, very simply, we're just gonna fill all of this in using our stone blocks. We're gonna do some more building with stone here, and this part is gonna be a rather tall chimney going in front of this wall right here. So we're gonna place down four blocks just like that and we're going to bring them up so that these are all 10 blocks high so you just want to place down nine more on top of these four and once you've got that done we're going to have a stone brick stair facing that way on top of that block and then the rest of them can be brought up by two more full blocks we're then going to have another stair on top of this block and bring these two up by an extra two then we're going to have another stair here on this block. You can kind of see we've got a bit of a pattern going on. And we're going to have two more here. And then this is where we can have a campfire surrounded with trap doors. So our chimney is actually smoking. And now if we just come back down to the bottom here real quick. On the right hand side nearest the door. We're going to place down three blocks just like that. With two stairs on top. And round the right hand side here. We're just going to have two full blocks high with two stairs on top. So that is what the chimney looks like. Whilst we got all of the stone in our inventory here, we're just going to actually head inside and finish up the remaining parts of this build made out of stone. And the first one is going to be a little fireplace just on the back of our chimney here. And the first thing we're going to do is break these two central blocks and dig down by one and two. We're going to place a full stone block on the bottom there and then just change out the three blocks around it. And that is where we're just going to have a nice little campfire, something that's potentially connecting to our chimney up there. And then we're going to go ahead and break the three blocks in front of it just like that. Two stone brick walls on either side, then a slab on top of them and a stair in the middle. We can then go ahead and just put an iron bar in front of the campfire like so. That way you're not going to be able to fall in and hurt yourself. Now we can just come over to the inside of this stone section right here. And we're going to place down a stair in the center two blocks away from the wall. We can then have an upside down stair, a regular one, and another upside down, just like this. We can then have two upside down ones either side of that middle stair, so it should look like this at the moment. 
We're then going to have two regular stairs on top of those, and then either side of it here and here, two more upside down stairs. And then we basically just want to repeat this pattern, so two more regular stairs, two more upside downs, two more regulars, until we eventually reach what is going to be the second level to this building. Admittedly, it looks a little bit weird at the moment, but it's just going to make the next step a little bit easier. Which is to add in the texture to all of the stone bricks here, using the cracked stone bricks, the andesite, as well as the regular stone. Now, you may want to save the chimney till maybe when we're up doing the roof, it might be a little bit easier then, but basically you just want to mix some of these blocks in to an extent you are happy with, of course not forgetting the stair, slab and wall variants we've also placed down. So now we've got all of the texture added in, we can start with the rest of the building. And we're going to start on this section right here, and we're going to place down a horizontal strip spruce log just like that on top of the stone blocks. And then we're going to do the same over here, but with three of them, just like that. And then we're going to copy it around to this side too, so one log here, and then three just like that. And very simply, we're just going to place an oak trap door on the face of all of those logs. Now we can move around to the front of the building here and where our entrance is going to be going where we had marked with the gold block we're going to place down one oak plank in the center here and then three stairs just placed like that in front of it so make sure you place in the two on the side facing into the stair and not forward like that you can see the difference there we want to curve it around a little bit we're then going to grab our brick blocks and add in bricks all the way up to the side of the logs at the top there a full block at the top with an upside down stair just underneath it and then we can have a spruce door just like that. And now we can move over to this one wide gap where we're going to have two full brick blocks, an upside down brick stair, one block away from those and another full block at the top here and we're just going to stick our window glass pane in that spot. We can then have an upside down brick stair on the bottom block in front of that one. Then our core dirt, surround it with spruce trap doors to make a nice little flower pot. One last detail to add to the front of the build here, we're just going to add a barrel facing forward and a barrel upright just like that in the corner. And real quickly, we actually just want to head inside because I've just remembered something we need to do. With our fireplace here, as you can see, the smoke is kind of accumulating on the top of this block. Doesn't look very good since we're trying to create the illusion that it's making it connect to the chimney up there. So simply just get rid of that block and you won't be able to see a difference here, but you can see the smoke is no longer getting caught. Now moving on round to the right hand side of the build, we're going to grab our white terracotta and just place down five blocks in the one wide gap on both of these two sections right here. We can then grab our full brick blocks and add in three at the bottom with one, two, three and four either side and then two more at the top just like that. These two open spaces can become glass panes for our window and then we're going to have an oak slab in the center here on the top half of the block, two upside down oak stairs, two spruce fences on top of both of them and then three oak slabs along the top with a flower pot in the center. And for around the back of the build here, we're going to come to this three wide section and add in five full brick blocks on either side next to those logs. We're going to add in a solid block at the top with an upside down brick stair above it and a regular stair at the bottom here. We can then have one, two glass panes in the center and two spruce trap doors as some shutters on the sides. We can then come to the five wide section here and we're going to have five full blocks along the bottom, four going up on either side and then we're going to have a line of three and then a line of three upside down stairs, leaving us with six spots to place in some glass panes. And in front of this we're going to make ourselves another flower pot planter and we're just going to cover it all in trap doors and put our flowers or ferns or whatever else can be planted on top of them. We are also going to have a staircase leading up to the second level round the back of the build here and that's going to begin on this spot right here with a spruce stair with an upside down one off the back and we basically just want to repeat this four more times so that when we are eventually finished with the last stair placed like that we're in line with where we have the spruce trap doors so one two three four and five of those. 
Now what we can do is just add in some supports underneath with our spruce fences. So one can go here, leave a gap of one, and place down three more. And that's very nice. We can now get up to what's going to be the second level. But you could also fall off pretty easily. So we're going to add in some supports here with acacia trap doors. And what we're going to do is add in two on these two bottom blocks. Then one, two, and three on all of the upside down stairs. And when we flick them up, it should look like this. We can then have some more on top of all of these four trap doors, just as I've done there. Flick them up once again, you should have something like this. And then lastly, we're just going to have one and two around the back here to complete our railing so that in theory you wouldn't be able to fall off. I know you still could, but I think it just makes it look a little bit nicer too. So now we can begin to make our way up to the second level and the first thing we're going to do is place down a bunch of spruce slabs and stairs and we're going to begin on this block right here by placing a stair like that with a regular stair just in front of it like so. And then we're basically just going to alternate between slabs and stairs until we reach the chimney over here where we can go around to this side and place in a spruce stair on either side of that top log. And then we're going to do the same alternating between the two until we get to over here to this spot where we'll do the same again and have two stairs on the corners and then virtually the exact same round the back here just switching between the two until we eventually get to this spot right here with the log where we can copy what we have at the front with a stair facing forwards and then lastly on these three stone blocks we're just going to have two stairs on the corners of both of them like that and then one more slab in the center. So I just do a quick spin around here so you can make sure everything is as mine is, but I think you should be able to. It's a pretty simple pattern. One last thing we need to do before we can start on the top level here is to just add a couple of spots where we're gonna hang some lanterns. The first one is gonna go right here. So put a chain underneath that stair with a lantern down below, just next to our staircase here. Then we're going to swing round to the side of the build here with the stone and underneath this stair we're going to have another chain and another lantern. You can now once again go ahead and grab some more strip spruce logs and we're going to start on this stair right here and just add in some pillars for the second floor. So we're going to add one here then another here leave a gap of one and place down another one, leave a gap of three and place down one more and then just skip round to the other side here on the corner block next to the chimney and place one more. We're then going to have one here, skip this whole section for now and place another one over here. One more next to the acacia trap door, leave a gap of one, leave another gap of one, a gap of three and then a gap of one and then one more here. All of these can then be brought up so that they are one, two and three, four blocks high. With that all done, we can then go ahead and place down three strips logs on top of these two spruce stairs on this little section of the build. And then we're just gonna come to the top of these two pillars here and have a horizontal log going all the way across just like that. And then if we come to the center here and go out by two blocks either side so that we're left with three blocks in the middle, we can then add in one, two, three, and four blocks just like that on top of the horizontal beam. And then lastly, with all of the strip logs for now, we can come round to this side which has the big open gap and on these two spots, we're going to add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight logs so that they are level with the ones we have placed over there. As you can see, they are. And just same again for this one, just like that. So before we start work on the main roof going on this section right here, we're just going to build the smaller roof that's on this spot. So the first thing we're going to do is come to these two logs and we're going to have an upside down spruce stair just like that on the top of both of them with a regular one coming out the back and then we basically just want to staircase our way up doing a regular stair and an upside down one underneath until they eventually reach in the middle and there's one block in between where we can have another upside down stair. We can then come round to the sides here and we're going to have an upside down stair with one, two and three slabs to get it level with this wall here. And we can do the same over here. So one upside down stair and then three slabs just like that. On top of this middle upside down stair we can have a regular spruce slab with a spruce trap door just in front of it. And then what we want to do is alternate between trap doors and slabs until you eventually get a big slab right in the face here in line with this wall once again. 
and that's all of the spruce done for this section. We can then switch over to our oak stairs and very simply we just want four of these in a line wherever we have a spruce stair. So as you can see, spruce stair meaning four oak stairs all the way until you reach the wall over here. So that is this portion of the roof all done. It should look a little like this. As for the bigger roof, we're going to start on these two pillars right here. So on this spot right here, as well as this log over here. So just slightly above the roof that we've already built. We want to have two upside down spruce stairs. And then I'll just do it on one side for now. So we're going to have a full block, then a regular stair, upside down, full block, regular stair, upside down. And then just one more time, full block, regular stair, and an upside down, and then a regular stair on top. And then if we just quickly do that over here too. You can see they eventually meet in the middle where we can have another upside down stair and on top of that one we're going to have a stair facing this way with an upside down one off the front and then a regular one just on top to make this little thing right here where we're going to have a spruce fence in front of this stair with a chain and a lantern hanging down from below. You can now copy this shape right here round to the other side over here starting on these two blocks right there. So with these two in position we can now come round to the back of the build and what we're going to do is start by placing down a full spruce plank in the corner between those two logs. And then we can have a regular spruce stair just coming off the back of that one and then one more here. So you can see it kind of closes in this full block so you can just see this corner. Underneath that full block we're going to have a spruce slab with a spruce trap door on top. We can then do the same over here too. So two stairs, a slab and then a trap door. And then we can go ahead and place in an upside down stair off the back of these two and then very simply just a line of slabs going all the way across. As for around the front we are going to do the exact same thing except we're just going to have to work around our chimney. So for the corners we're just doing the same as what we've done for the back. So a full block in the corner and then a spruce stair either side of it, slab underneath and trap door on top. As for this stair, we're just going to have another upside down one off the back of it and same again over here and then we can have our line of slabs which is of course interrupted by the chimney but if this wasn't here then well you would just have two more in replace of it but the chimney is blocking it which is absolutely fine. To complete the roof outline we just need to hop up to the top here where we have this stair and just underneath it we're going to have a line of spruce slabs going across from one upside down stair all the way to the other over here just like that. And then what we can do is place down a brick wall, every other block going all the way across, just like so. And then we're going to have a spruce fence in between them all, as well as on top of all of them, just like that. And then on top of all of the fences here, and it's a little bit tricky because you've got to go careful with where you're putting your cursor, but we're going to go ahead and put an iron bar on top of all of the spruce fences. So this is what the top of the build looks like. So now we can come round to the front of the build here, and we just want to have a line of oak slabs going across from the spruce trap door all the way, missing the chimney, round to the other side here, just like that. And now we want to grab some stripped spruce logs, and just underneath this second slab, so not the first one, the second one, we just want to grab a couple of temporary blocks so we can place in a log just like that. Then leave one, two, and three. And on the fourth one over here, once again, just add in a couple of temporary blocks so you can place it down. We're going to add in another one. And then we're going to add in one, two, and three blocks just on top of it like so. What we can then do is have in an upside down spruce stair with a regular one off the back of both of these pillars, just like so. Spruce trap door in front and on top of both of the stairs, then with a spruce slab in either side and a spruce stair in the center. As for filling in this section, we want to grab our stripped oak logs and place them just next to our spruce logs here. May actually be easier to work down this time, so we're going to have four like that to either side of it. Again, temporary block at the top here and four just beside that one. So we have this single gap in the middle where we're going to have an oak plank at the bottom, an upside down oak stair at the top, two glass panes in the center with a lantern underneath that central stair. As for filling in the rest of the roof, it's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much wherever we have a spruce plank, we want a line of oak planks. And wherever we have a spruce stair, we want a line of oak stairs. So for this little section, we do something like this. 
Same again around this side except a little bit longer so our oak planks can go all the way until the strip spruce logs and we can just have our stairs on top of it like so. We can then do the same up by a level going all the way across until this point right here on both of the sides as we don't need to go across or it's going to block our window. And on top of them we can have two stairs this side and however many stairs this is connecting to the spruce stair. And then what we can do is connect this oak stair to this spruce stair by placing in an oak stair against that log. And as you can see, it curves around to the side here. Same again on this side, just like so. Then what we can do is add in a big long line of oak planks all the way across with no interruptions to the other side. Same again with the stairs just on top of it like so. And then we can grab our oak slabs and we're going to have two here. Same again on this side, then up by half a block and have two more either side. And then lastly, two more up by half a block again in the center. That way we can work in our little window into the shape of the roof. And then lastly, all we need to do instead of having stairs here, we're actually going to have slabs. That way our central piece that we've already placed down here is just elevated a little bit above it and stands out a bit more. And now we're going to do a similar thing around the back of the build here. Starting off by once again having a big line of oak slabs going across from one spruce trap door to the other. And then we can just head around the back here and place in a couple of pillars like we did for this section. We're going to have two of those around the back here. So the first one is going to start on this block right here. So just one block away from the roof outline. Then we're going to leave one, two and three blocks and we're just going to have another one placed down like so. Then we're going to leave two block gap and have another one here and then a one block gap and have another one over here just like that leaving us with two blocks at the end here. So it should look like this around the front. We can then go ahead and place down two more logs on both of these to bring them up to three blocks high. For these two pillars right here, the ones that have a single block in between them, we actually need to bring them up by an extra block so that they are four blocks high. Then what we can do is add in a upside down spruce stair on the top part of both of those blocks with a regular one off the back and on top of it just like that on either side. We can then have a regular upside down stair in the center here just like so with a spruce slab on top and a spruce trap door in front of it. We can then have, oh, let's not go down quite that far. <laughs> we can have a chain underneath it as well as a lantern down from below. What we can then do is similar to what we did out the front here, just have an oak plank at the bottom, an upside down oak stair at the top, and then one and two glass panes in the center. For the other two pillars over here, the first thing we're going to do is have two upside down spruce stairs in front of them just like that. And then we're going to have a spruce trap door to the side of them as well as on top like so. We can then have a spruce slab on top of both the trap doors and a stair in the center. We can also go ahead and place down a spruce trap door just on the side of those pillar blocks like that. Then we can go ahead and grab some oak planks and we're going to have three full blocks along the bottom, two on either of the sides and an upside down stair at the top with a glass pane in the center. And we also want to go ahead and put down two spruce trap doors either side of our window here as some shutters. So now we can fill in the back of the roof here and it's virtually the same as what we've done out the front except it's a little bit more complicated just because we have two of these windows to work into the roof. But it's okay, just follow along, you'll be absolutely fine. So the first thing we're going to do on the right hand side is have a full block, stair, a full block and a stair just like that. Do the same on the left hand side except they're going to be two blocks long so you should have something like this. And then we can do the same in the middle too. So we're going to have two there, two stairs, and then just come around the back here, add in two full blocks and two more stairs. So we should have something like this at the moment. We're then going to come to this right hand side window and off the back of the trap doors, we're going to have one and two slabs either side of it, just like that. And then we're going to go up by half a block on either side and add in two more slabs. And then we're going to go up by half a block again and add in another two slabs. So it should look like this if we're looking down on the design. What we can then do is grab two stairs and have one of those either side of it. And then we simply just want to connect this stair to this stair by curving it round very simply. 
and we can do the same again over here. So for now, this is what your roof should look like. That's the complicated bit out the way. The next thing to do is to add in a big line of oak planks going from one of the spruce planks all the way over to the next, similar to what we did around the front. And we're going to go ahead and add in some stairs on top of that, just like so. And then once again, some slabs on top of those stairs to finish this part. All that we have left to do is to connect this section of the roof to over here. And very simply, all we're going to do is add in two stairs either side and two slabs in the middle. And that is the roof all done. Gonna head back round to the front of the build now and just fill in this section of the wall. So what we're gonna do is have three or four I should say white terracotta on these two spots and then we're gonna have four more on either side of these with one at the top and one at the bottom and then in the middle here we can have two glass panes. And a little tip if you want to, this is what I did in my survival world, you can mix in some mushroom stems and some bone blocks just to add in a bit of texture to your white terracotta here. I haven't included it in the materials list or anything like that and I'm not going to use it in this build just because it's not really for everybody plus these two blocks are quite expensive to get in survival but the options there if you want it so we got this all done what we can then do is add in an oak slab underneath the glass panes with two upside down oak stairs just coming off the side of them then we're going to have an oak fence on top of both of those stairs with one two and three oak slabs and lastly just a flower pot in the center. Swinging around to the back of the build now because we're going to complete this section of the wall and the first thing we're going to do at the top of the staircase here on the back of this block we can add in our spruce door where above it we can have an upside down oak stair with a regular oak plank just above it like that. We can then add in four white terracotta on these two spaces right here and then we're going to add in one, two, three, and four oak planks next to the two strip spruce logs and one at the top and then an oak stair at the bottom. And we're just going to have two glass panes in the center here with two spruce trap doors to the right hand side. And lastly, on this white terracotta block, we're going to have a spruce fence with a lantern hanging down from underneath just to give a little bit of light to this area. Now we're just going to do some work on the right hand side here just beside where we have our chimney and the first thing to do is to add in all of these white terracotta blocks on the side of the build just like this. What we can then do is count up one, two, three and on the fourth block we're just going to have a horizontal line of three strip spruce logs. Then we can go ahead and add in a line of three oak planks either side of it with an oak stair upside down at the top and this is where we're going to have another doorway which will eventually lead onto a balcony not just to fall onto the floor. <laughs> Then what we can do on this section right here, just add in a line of oak blocks going all the way up on either side, just like this. One at the bottom, then we're actually going to grab some glass panes just from around here. There we go. And we're going to add in one, two, three of those. And then we're just going to have two more oak planks at the top there. What we can then do is add in one, two, three spruce fences either side of the glass panes and we're going to have a spruce stair upside down underneath both of those with a spruce slab in the middle. We can also have a spruce slab at the top here and two spruce trap doors either side of it. Just got to add in a couple more details before we can start work on the little balcony going right here. And the first one is to add in a spruce trap door underneath this slab for no apparent reason other than I think it looks a little bit better that way. We're also going to add a flower pot here with something inside of it. And then lastly, we're going to have a spruce fence in front of this log with a lantern hanging down from below. So to build the balcony, all we need to do is to add in a line of five spruce trap doors in front of our doorway here. So in the center, just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and have five more and then three more. So not on the two corners here because where we have those on the ground level here, we need a brick and then one, two, three and four oak fences on both of these corners right here. And on top of that one, we can go ahead and place down two spruce trap doors like this. And then if we just step on the balcony here, just going to add in some railings using some oak fences. And very simply, that is all we're going to do. As for this small section, what we're going to do is grab our white terracotta and above these blocks here, just a single log with the trap door in front, we're going to have four white terracotta on top of both of those. 
Then we can go ahead and add three along the bottom logs just like that and then three more either side of those white terracottas and then we're going to have a single one in the center here. So from around the side this is what it looks like leaving us with a nice little gap to place in some glass panes eventually. And we want to do the same around this side here except it's elevated by a block so it's the same shape but up by a little bit slightly just like that. So then we can go ahead and place in all of our glass panes just like this and we're going to start round the back here so where we have our staircase and all of that we're going to start on this window. The first thing we're going to do is place down two oak fence gates just like that to the left of the panes here and we're actually going to open them up making sure they are facing not that way <laughs> we want them facing this way so this is going to be quite tricky to do you might have to break some blocks to do it but we want them to open up that way pointing towards the glass panes so that we can put some spruce trap doors in front of them just as a little bit of a different shutter design if that's too fiddly for you j just do that it'll be absolutely fine i just like to change it up a little bit every now and again as for around this side, what we can do is add in three coarse dirt above our spruce blocks there and just cover it up with spruce trap doors and turn it into a flower pot. So just plant some things on those three coarse dirts like so. And as for this side around the front of the build, we're going to add in an oak slab in the center, two oak stairs either side of it, two oak fences above the stairs and one, two and three stairs just like that. I did mean to say slabs there, hopefully you figured that one out. But on this block we're going to have ourselves a lantern and of course if you haven't already just go ahead and place some things on top of the coarse dirt. And as for this section up here we're going to go ahead and add in two white terracotta blocks in the corners just like that and then we're going to have six here either side of the strip spruce logs. Then we can have one and two strip spruce logs, a spruce stair, then a glass pane, then an upside down stair and then a strip spruce log on top of that one. The final thing we need to do to complete the exterior of the build here is to add in a couple of bushes. Now this may not be for everybody, if you don't like adding greenery to your build feel free to skip over this part but I think it is really going to help this build all come together. So we're just going to add in three bushes here in total. The first one is going to go right here in between our chimney and our balcony. I'm going to be using some stripped acacia logs as the bit of wood to go behind them and then a mixture of oak and birch leaves. Mine by the way are extra bushy. This is a resource pack from VanillaTweaks.net. So that's where you need to go if you want some extra bushy leaves. I would really recommend it. They are very nice. But we're going to go ahead and cover it up on all three sides with some leaves. Then we're going to have three more on top and then two more down here. And then very simply we're just going to switch some of these up for some birch leaves just to add in a little bit of variation. Makes it a bit more interesting I think. We're then going to swing around to the back here and we're going to place in a stripped acacia log on this spot just underneath the trap door. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four and five leaves. Once again just mix in a couple of birch ones too. And then lastly the other one is going to go here just underneath this trap door. We're going to have two oak leaves on top of it two oak leaves to the side, one and two here. And lastly, of course, you probably know by now, just mix in a couple of birch. So that is the outside of the build fully complete. And you may notice I've done a little bit of bone mealing around the place here just to add in some more grass and flowers, adding to the life and the greenery surrounding the inn here. So the option once again to do something like that is there if you want to take it. But now we are ready to head inside and do some work on the interior. It is looking really open in here and honestly quite intimidating but do not worry we will go through it one floor at a time going nice and slow. I'll show you how to place down every single block virtually. So the first thing we're going to do is actually set up the ceiling to the first floor here and the first thing we're going to do is come to the corner here on these four blocks and we're going to add in one, two, three, four and five spruce stripped logs just like this to make that look a little bit nicer than what was there before and now what we can do is grab some spruce slabs and on the top of this block we're going to add in a line of them going all the way across on either side so it should be level with the bricks and every other block that we have here on the uh, what's going to be the second floor 
And then what we can do is add in a horizontal line of strip spruce logs going across from this one all the way to the other wall. And you can probably see where I'm going for this, but in case you can't, we'll carry on. So from the back of this stair, we're going to add in a line of slabs and then same again over on this side all the way. Just make sure they're on the top half of the block like that all the way to here. And then we're going to add in a line of strip spruce logs lastly until we get to this spot right here. You can also go ahead and place a spruce trap door on the front of that log just so you can't see this behind it. I think it looks a little bit neater that way. Now we're just going to add in a little bit of light with some lanterns and chains here because it is quite dark. So the first two are going to go on these two spots right here just in the corner. And the next one is going to go on the center log one, two, three and on the fourth block here just like that. Now we can go ahead and get rid of all of the blocks on the floor here. And in replace of them, we're going to have some strip dark oak logs placed down in a pattern. So we're going to come to this wall here as a start and we're going to place down one, two, three, just like that so that they're facing forward. The next three we're going to place on the side of the block here and then for the next row we want to place them on the side once again and then on the side of these blocks. So pretty much the rule for this pattern is place the logs on the side of them, never on the front of them like this, and you can go all the way over until you reach behind the stairs here. So eventually when you're all done, you should end up with a pretty cool looking checkerboard pattern with the strip dark oak logs here. I really do quite like using this. So we are going to come back down here and add in all of the detail for the tavern section of the inn once we've got the upstairs ceiling and floor figured out for what we're going to be doing. So we're going to come up the stairs here and we're going to come to this spot right here and grab some strip spruce logs. And on top of this one, we're going to add in three more on both of the two sides. We can then come in by one block diagonally just here and place down four more on both of the sides once again. So it should be like this for the moment. Then we're going to have three upside down oak stairs either side of the ceiling and three full blocks just above it. We can also go ahead and add a chain with a lantern here just to light up this section of the build. Something I should probably mention is all of the light levels in here are going to be above light level seven. So you're not going to have to worry about mob spawning. But what we can do next from these logs, we're going to go across by one, two and three, and then we're going to leave one, two and three once again. And we're just going to bring these up to the same height. So four blocks and we can also do it on this side too. And these pretty much will just be separated into rooms for accommodation which is what we can start on now. So pretty much what we want to do for each four of these sections, the three blocks in between the two logs, is we're going to have four white terracotta blocks on either side and two more at the top. This will eventually be our doorway, by the way. But now we can go ahead and do it here, here and here too. And once you got all of that done, you can see how the corridor is going to come together now. So we will split up these two rooms and decorate them eventually. But for right now, we're just going to come to the back here where we have our doorway with the balcony. And we're going to grab some stri strip spruce logs again. And we're going to add in one, two, three and four on top of both of the logs that were already in the floor. Just like this, as you can see. And now what we can do is go ahead and place down a line of three white terracotta to just fill in this wall right here. So place down all 12 of those blocks just like that. And now we can just add in our ceiling. So all we need to do in level with the top of the blocks here, we're just going to fill it all in with some oak slabs just like this. So that's the back of the section done. And then we just want to have a line going all the way across until we eventually reach this log over here. Okay, so now we're ready to separate these rooms into four individual ones. And what we want to do is just come to the staircase here and face the balcony door. And we're going to walk forward into the corridor and go in either of the first two doors here. And we want to face the flat white terracotta wall. So not this one, this one facing towards the balcony. And we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine spruce trap doors. Of course, you want to crouch when you place them down or they'll just flip up like I've just done there. But we're going to place all of them down and we can do the same over here, actually. So just placing them all in like that and flip them up to make a wall divider between the two. And now what we can do 
in the center of the white terracotta here we're just going to have a line of stripped oak logs on both of these coming all the way across horizontally just to make a bit of a beam so it should look like this and now what we want to do in the larger room, so the first one that we go in from the corridor beginning, we're going to have two upside down stairs on these two spots. Same again over here, of course. And then virtually the rest of them can become oak slabs. So we're going to have four across here and then four across here. Same again in this room too, just making sure you fill in all the blocks on the ceiling. So this is what the bigger room, ever so slightly bigger, <laughs> looks like in the ceiling. And then the smaller rooms, all we need to do is just add in three oak slabs just like that in both of these. So that if we actually just hop up here, you can come up to this level and it should look like this if you've copied everything as I've done here. Now we are going to turn this room into something in a second, but what I'm going to recommend you do is break this block here just to the left of the spruce door and we're going to add in some ladders so you can actually climb up here and access it if need be. I think for the most part, I'm actually going to leave this room in all of your guys' hands to do whatever you want with, add a bit of uniqueness to the build. Maybe you could set up your survival base in here potentially, you could live in the top floor of the tavern, or something else, have some fun with it. But if you're really short on ideas, we're just going to build a storage room basically. Not your typical Minecraft storage room with an array of chests and a sorting system, no no, we're just going to place in like stacks of barrels, maybe storing all of the supplies supplies down for the in to use. So the first thing we're going to do is just line in all of these blocks with some spruce planks. Of course, if you want to save on some resources, you could just use some spruce slabs. So we're just going to fill all of this in like so. And something else we'll have to do once we've got all of these in position is just add in an additional ladder up here to make climbing up and down a little bit easier. If you are using slabs, by the way, do make sure you don't cheap out on these three blocks, otherwise it's going to look a little bit weird. Real quick, we're just going to head down to the middle floor here and just place in a couple of torches just to temporarily light up this floor so we don't get any mob spawning before we place in the proper lighting. So the first thing we're going to do up here is just try and smooth out the inside of the roof here and make the ceiling look a little bit nicer. So we'll start on the side with two windows here and the first thing we're going to do is add in a line of oak slabs underneath all of these oak planks. We can then go ahead and grab some full blocks and what we're going to do is add in two underneath there and one underneath there. We can then have three oak slabs half a block below the slabs we've just placed down and then we're going to have three more just like this. And then we're going to leave it for that side and we're going to turn around to this one and we're going to start off by adding in some full blocks underneath all five of those as well as one in the corner here. And then we're going to add in another line of slabs underneath all of the planks just like that. And then five more slabs like this. So this side is how it looks here and the other side should look like this. Lastly, we're just going to add in a line of upside down stairs underneath those top blocks on both of the sides just like this. And very finally, we can just add in a line of spruce trap doors along the surface in the middle. We do need to get a little bit of light up in this room, so the first thing I'm going to do next to the singular window here on the right hand side, we're going to have a chain and a lantern underneath that stair, and on the opposite side here, once again to the right, chain and lantern. So that nicely lights up this entire floor, with the exception of this block right here, but that's okay because now we can start adding in some of our barrel stacks. So really, you just kind of want to place these in willy-nilly, a bit all over the place and disorganized, kind of making that sort of vibe for up here as though they've just kind of dumped everything <laughs> in piles and left it and they come and grab it when need be so you might have to sort of tweak this for a bit and add in a couple to get something you're happy with but you kind of get the idea of what you need to do up here so once you have your barrels all over the floor in here, what you can then do is just place down a couple more lanterns just on a few spots. And that's simply because they are full blocks so they do stop some of the light getting through. So just have a wander around here with your F3 screen up and look at this block level right here. So it says 11, that's how bright it is. You're just looking for anything 7 or below and if there is, just stick a lantern down nearby. 
So now we can just head back down the ladder here and work on this floor. So the first thing we're going to do is grab some spruce trap doors and place in some shelves. So we're going to have one here on the bottom block and another on the second block there. So just make sure you're placing it towards the top of both of those. And on this one here, we're going to have a chest on the top shelf and a tripwire hook in an item frame just below it. I like to pretend this is a key and I like to put them next to doorways so you can lock and unlock them. Or maybe this is to get inside the attic here if you want to place in a trap door potentially just use your imagination and over on this side we're going to have a lantern on the top block so you get some light in here and another item frame just because this is a full block we or isn't a full block so we can't really put anything that isn't an entity inside of here so just anything else to go in the item frame maybe a book and quill for no apparent reason but on this little section opposite the doorway we're going to have a chest with a painting above it just like that and the last thing we're going to do for now is grab our acacia doors and we're just going to put them in front of all of these just to get a little bit of privacy and an actual doorway to each of these rooms individually. So now it's time to decorate the rooms and I'm going to show you how to do the smaller one first of all. And the first thing we need to do is place down a spruce fence just to the left of our doorway here with a lantern on top of it. We can then place in a chest next to the scaffolding or the uh, trap door sorry the scaffolding is going to go over here in this corner to the right of the doorway and on top of that we can have a flower pot with something inside of it but just behind this chest here we're going to have our bed like so and all that's left to do is just hang a couple of things on the wall here so underneath the log here we're going to have a item frame with a clock inside and on this spot we're just going to have ourselves a painting of your choosing just cycle through until you get one you want and that's all we need to do for the small room for the larger room we're going to start off by placing our bed on top of these two logs here in the corner then we're going to leave a gap of one and place in a double chest this time living large in the big room <laughs> they get a bit of an upgrade there and we're going to have our scaffolding table with a flower pot just at the foot of the bed there and the last thing we're going to add in is an armor stand just to hang up your clothes so we're going to place it on this block grab ourselves a fishing rod and hook onto it like that and because it's an entity we can just pull it around a little bit maybe get it a bit more flat against the wall just kind of push it here there and everywhere until you get it in a pretty good spot and then of course you can go ahead and put some armor of your choosing to display on the armor stand and lastly we just have to hang a couple of things on the wall here we're going to stick a painting just like that and once again cycle through until you get one you like i think that's a pretty nice one and we're also going to stick our item frame with our clock just beside the bed here so that is how you make the big room and of course now you can copy it round to the other side here so it's the exact same layout all i've done is change a couple of things like the painting and the bed color and the flower inside the flower pot and the armor on the armor stand and I've done also the same for the small room just kind of changing up little bits where I can and uh, probably need to put a flower inside of there there we go much better so now finally we are on the bottom floor here the tavern part of the inn so the first thing we're going to do is grab our oak stairs and we're going to place one just in front of our doorway here and then two more to the side once again just curved round so it looks a little bit nicer than that so we got that in place now we can come over here to this block right here so just by our window and we're going to go across with some upside down stairs by five blocks just like that and then we're going to stick an oak fence gate just like here to get behind what is going to be the bar but we do need to add in some seats for our drinkers and uh, visitors to sit at so the first one is going to go over here we're going to place down two spruce stairs just against the window here and we're going to add in some signs for some uh, armrests and as the table all we're going to do is an oak fence with an oak pressure plate just on top like that so we got a double table there we're going to have a single table over in this corner just like that and we're going to have a bit of a larger one in the center here so we're going to come from this center stair out by three blocks and we're going to place down one two and three oak fences with the pressure plates on top of course and then we're just going to add in our spruce stairs which are going to be our chairs just like this and then of course we can go around and place in all of our signs as our armrests and that right there is all of the chairs and tables placed down already looking a bit more lively so now we're just going to make a couple of additions to the bar over here 
First thing is going to be a few flower pots just to serve as mugs or uh, glasses or, or something like that to hold all of the drink in. And then we're going to put a couple of levers here as some taps to dispense the beverages. And we're also going to stick a scaffolding with a brewing stand just in the corner there. We can then grab some spruce trap doors and we're going to place down two on these two blocks and one over here. Just make sure you're placing it on the top of this block, not on the bottom of that one. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to put anything on top of it, which is what we need to do. So we're going to have a couple of chests and then also a barrel here, just like that. And then lastly, we're just going to stick a painting on this spot right here. So in my survival world, I have a couple of seats at the bar here, but it's a bit cramped and we can't really use our chair design already. Otherwise, it's just going to feel really, really close quartered. I do like close quartered stuff, but this is too much. <laughs> so instead, we're going to be making some stools with some armor stands. So we're going to go ahead and break this block, this block and this block. And then if we just go ahead and place an armor stand in all of them and put a leather cap on top, just like that. And all we need to do is push the block that was here originally back in place. So if we just get a piston above it like that with our block there, making sure it's the right rotation, all of these are going to be on the side like this. We can actually go ahead and just place them in ready. So you know they should be rotated like that. And then if we just go ahead and power it once and then just stick a temporary block there, power it again, get rid of the temporary block, and then we can get rid of our piston and our button. As you can see, kind of looks like a bit of a miniature stool. You can always mess around with the height of it and everything like that, but this is just the simplest way to do it. And of course, you can do that two more times. One of the final things to do is just to add in a bit of storage around our staircase here, as I think it feels a bit open and looks like it's missing something. So all we're gonna do is add in a barrel here on this spot with a chest in front of it, and then we're gonna add in a barrel back here and another barrel facing forward with a chest on top of that one. That way just kind of fills up the gap a little bit and I think looks a little bit nicer. So the very final thing we're going to add in is a place for a pooch. I think it's lovely to have a resident dog in a tavern. So that's the idea we're trying to make here. So of course we need to make him a little bit of a mat to sit on. Going to use some carpet to do that. And then we're going to have his water bowl and his food plate over here with a nice slab of meat on top. So now all you have to do is find your goodest boy and get him in position and that is you done with the build. So thank you everybody so much for watching this tutorial. I know it's been a bit of a long one. I do apologize. This is just an extremely intricate build. And with my tutorials, I like showing every single block being placed down. So I didn't want to skip on anything. So I hope you guys appreciated that. Thank you ever so much if you made it all the way to the end of the video here. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.